Welcome back to Forex Professional Training in Financial Markets. In this session, continual and reversal head and shoulder patterns will be discussed in detail. Before further explanation about those patterns, traders must figure out some mandatory issues. Neckline Downtrend Neckline can be drawn by a trader through connecting the valley of the left shoulder to the valley of the right shoulder. Left valley is between the left shoulder and head, while right valley is between head and right shoulder. Due to the fact that head and shoulder is a reversal pattern, this format will be formed on the upward trend. Consequently, the foreseen trend would be downwards as market price crosses the neckline. Neckline uptrend. Again, neckline can be drawn by a trader through connecting the peak of the left shoulder to the peak of the right shoulder. Left peak is between left shoulder and head, while right peak is between head and right shoulder. Since this format of head and shoulder would be formed on a downtrend, the predicted direction of the price will be upward after it passes the neckline. H height A vertical line between the head summit and neckline in downtrend or head bottom and neckline. Entry price Order entry price is the point where neckline crosses the market price. Take profit Take profit equals H or half of H value. Stop loss in decreasing mode, stop loss is above a right shoulder peak point, while in decreasing mode, stop loss price can be placed under a right shoulder valley. Last kiss. Last kiss is a favorable point where traders can place an order. It happens when price returns to the neckline after it crossed it earlier. Graphs illustrate the specification of different head and shoulder patterns. There are three various reverse types with little discrepancy. In an increasing trend on first graph, price moves upward in an uptrend until it reaches left shoulder peak. Then a small decline followed by an uptrend to head summit. Another descent followed by an ascent and eventually the downward movement passes neckline and further decline. The middle graph displays another uptrend example. Left shoulder, head and right shoulder are formed and neckline can be drawn in an uptrend by connecting left shoulder valley to right shoulder valley. H is a vertical line from the summit of head to neckline. Neckline is sometimes horizontal while it frequently has a slope. The right top graph shows that neckline is a gradient line in which traders do not place any order due to inappropriate or late entry price. In decreasing mode, neckline connects the left shoulder peak to the right shoulder peak. H is the vertical line between head bottom and neckline. The downward neckline is displayed on the left graph, while upward neckline is shown on the right graph with a late breakout point which is not suitable for placing an order. Entry point is the breakout price where price crosses the neckline. Thus, in an uptrend, a trader can place a sell order on a breakout point on the top three graphs. The three bottom graphs show downtrend market in which traders can place a buy order on a breakout point. Stop loss on buy orders can be over the right shoulder peak while it can be lower than the right shoulder valley. There are three different types of relation between H and right shoulder. The left graph shows a pattern that right shoulder height is lower than H2. This type of head and shoulder represents the best opportunity to place a sell order. The middle graph illustrates H2 
which equals the height of the right shoulder. Thus, TP and SL have the same amount, but in the opposite direction. The right graph shows that the right shoulder height is higher than H2. In this type, SL value is more than TP. Thus, this type is not recommended for placing an order. Most of the time, TP is set on the H2 value, away from the breakout point. The left bottom graph indicates the best condition for a trader to place a sell order, in which neckline has an upward trend. The right bottom graph illustrates the worst condition for a trader to place a sell order, in which neckline has a downward trend. Bullish and bearish head and shoulder patterns have the same conditions and manner considering the relationship between right shoulder height and H2. Continual head and shoulder. The continual head and shoulder is shown on the following graphs. The left graph illustrates an uptrend followed by a small decline. Left shoulder, head and right shoulder are formed with an upward direction that crosses the neckline. As it is clear, the uptrend is followed after head and shoulder is formed. Thus, this pattern is classified as continual. On the right graph, continual head and shoulder on downtrend is formed. Head and shoulder is a unique pattern that provides both continual and reversal format. A trader can check MetaTrader 4 for several suitable examples. For instance, there is a reversal head and shoulder. A trader can draw its figure with trendline option in the toolbar. Left shoulder is followed with head and right shoulder. So neckline can be drawn easily. Trend movement can be predicted by using a Fibonacci pattern on the H line. Fibonacci shows that trend passed the H2 amount followed by a decline. However, it crossed the H amount from the breakout point. A trader should practice considerably to develop his or her trading ability. It is better to draw asymmetrical head and shoulder patterns which are hard to identify. There is another example with a long left shoulder followed by a head and a small right shoulder, in which neckline is an upward line. Both left and right valleys are connected, and a Fibonacci pattern is drawn with vertical format on H. Then it can be relocated on breakout point to recognize the H2 and H points. Trend has followed a downward direction and passed the H2 price. In this example, a trader can draw other different head and shoulder patterns. However, its breakout point was formed too late. A continual head and shoulder pattern can be drawn easily on a downtrend. Neckline can be drawn by connecting the left and right valleys, which have an upward direction. A Fibonacci pattern can help a trader to find the H2 and H prices easily, as in the previous example. Both H and H2 prices have been met by market price. Another example can be found on D1 timeframe. On an upward trend, a continual head and shoulder can be drawn. A Fibonacci example is placed on H line. A trader can relocate the Fibonacci line to decrease the bustle on the chart. H2 and H prices have been reached later by market trend. There are numerous examples on a different time frame of a symbol. A trader can find a head and shoulder pattern on H4 time frame, so a region can be marked for further study. Left shoulder, head and right shoulder can be identified easily there would be different length of shoulders in a pattern. Thus, head and shoulder 
can be an asymmetric pattern. Another reversal head and shoulder on a downtrend. The previous pattern is an upward line, while the recent examples have a downward neckline. That concludes this session. Until next time and another session, take care.